here, if you look at the uh, architecture of uh, Power BI, so here we have the data sources. Okay, are you able to see the data sources? Different data sources. So it can be Excel file, it can be Salesforce, it can be CSV file, okay, it can be Azure platform, anything. Okay, databases, many databases. These are all different data sources. Okay, so through these data sources, we pull the data. Okay, and we use it in the uh, Power BI services. Okay, Power BI service or Power BI desktop. Okay, we pull the data into that particular platform and we create the visualization okay visualizations dashboards all those things and of course the servers there are servers available sql servers all those things so there are power bi gateways through which we can pull the real time data okay then these data these reports after we make the uh, visualizations or dashboards these will be published into websites or apps okay so here you publish into websites or different apps power bi mobile app is also there we can view the dashboards or visualizations in the power bi mobile also okay so this is the overall uh, architecture so you have the data sources different data sources and Power BI service or Power BI desktop will be used to create the visualizations and dashboard. And then that will be, those will be published into websites or uh, Power BI uh, report server. And those can be accessed through Power BI mobile or through websites. Okay. This is the overall process flow in the Power BI. Okay. So in Power BI, we have four different products, guys. Okay. So the first product is Power BI Desktop, okay. So Power BI Desktop, it is a free tool, which is a, 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 a self-service business intelligence tool, okay. It is called self-service business intelligence tool because you yourself can uh, uh, do the analysis. You can just uh, pull the data inside, import the data inside the Power BI Desktop and you can create visualizations and you can draw insights. So it is called self-service business intelligence tool, okay. But it has got its own limitations. So you cannot publish uh, the dashboard. You cannot create the dashboards using Power BI Desktop. Okay. We can do a lot of things in Power BI Desktop, like we can transform the data, we can create uh, uh, DAX functions, we can you know, uh, uh, create different data models. All those things can be done. We can create the visualizations, we can create reports, but we cannot you know, publish the data, so publish the visualizations or share the visualizations on an online platform, okay? So for that, we have second product that is Power BI service or Power BI online, okay? So this Power BI service or online is a cloud-based cloud -based platform, which is uh, available along with uh, subscriptions, okay? Like we have Power, uh, Power BI Pro, Power BI uh, 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 paid versions, okay? So it is costing around, $9.9, $9.99 per user per month, okay? So that is the cost of it. And uh, uh, when you want to access this Power BI services, we cannot use general emails like Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo Mail, these things cannot be used. We need to have organizational email ID to create an account in the Power BI service, okay? So that is the second product, that is Power BI service. Third product we have is Power BI uh, report server, okay? So this Power BI report server is on-premises server. So companies uh, may be installing this server on their premises and there you can host a lot of uh, reports or dashboards, okay? Instead of going for Power BI services, they can go for this Power BI uh, report server, which is on-premises server. And fourth product we have is Power BI mobile. So once we have this Power BI services or uh, uh, Power BI report server, we can connect this Power BI mobile to this uh, servers and uh, view the dashboards or visualizations. So Power BI mobile, wherever you move, you can access those things once you are connected to those servers through internet. Okay. 